Hi everyone, my name's Scott and I'm from Color Space. This is Emily Earthvolt. She's one of our amazing local artists. Today in our vlog, we're going to be talking about abstract art, the journey of creating abstract art, and how different colors represent different emotions in the artwork here. Emily, please tell us, when did you start painting? And uh, were you professionally trained or yourself taught? Um, I think I started painting when I was a teenager, maybe 14, 15 years old. I used to do a lot of drawing classes when I was a kid. Um, and I did a bit of Chinese calligraphy as well. Um, and then, I don't know, one day I just wanted to paint and I just started. So it was really random, to be honest. Oh, cool. And, and, and did, you, did you pursue it professionally? No, so not at the start. So um, I was more like everything that people could ask me, like, you know, paint a flower, paint this photo. I would like this photo, but I would like the painting of this photo or I would like a boat or a house, whatever, that was realistic. Yeah. I could just do it for them. Right. Okay, so moving on to uh, Emily's artwork. She's got three artworks here on display at Inspire Nine. So Emily, can you please tell us about your artworks? Yes. So, can we start with this one? Yes. <laughs> so this one is actually a volcano, as you can see. Mm -hmm. um, quite different to what I was doing before. So mm -hmm. it's like, um, I think I've done four maybe paintings. They are quite the same style. Yeah. Uh, with all this thickness and contrast. Cool. Alright, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about this piece? Yeah. They are birds. So They're birds? They like birds. Okay. So I have a few paintings like that that I call birds or something with the air and the sky. So it's like um, birds attacked. So they are basically attacking something like the land or whatever. So that's what I see. <laughs> and last one over here. <laughs> So, I call this one knot because there's a big knot in the middle of it. There's a big knot in the middle of it. What, why, what attracts you about the darker colours and the darker tones? Well, why do you paint in these stars? To be honest, I've always been doing like very, just always very dark colours. And a few times I really, really tried to use more blue, more red, more yellow, but because it's just a very personal thing, mm -hmm. they're just not my colors. Or maybe at that time I didn't feel like painting with those colors. Yep. Um, now, this year I started introducing a bit of blue and green, which is um, a bit weird for me because it's totally new. But yeah, I love those colors. Yeah. Okay, so the last question then, which yes. is, what is something that you would like to tell the world that you think people don't realise about artists. Something that people don't realise. We are normal. <laughs> <laughs> we are normal people. <laughs> don't be afraid. <laughs> we just play with colours. And if you want to do it too, just do it. You buy a canvas, you buy some painting, and you just play with it like kids. Mm. Kids have fun at doing it. And I think that's the most important thing. We have a lot of fun at doing what we're doing. We are very, very lucky that we can do it. I love that message. That's fantastic. Emily, thank you so much. You're so, welcome. if people wanted to find you, yeah. where can they find you? Um, you can find me on my website. So, it's emilyartemontart.com, uh, my Facebook, Emily Artemont Art, and Instagram, Emily Artemont Art. So, they all have the same name. Fantastic. And uh, we will put the links in the comments below so you don't have to try and <laughs> guess how to how to spell that as well. So thank you again. Thank you very much. That was great. Thank you. <laughs> and that's a wrap. We hope you enjoyed meeting one of our lovely artists, Emily here. Uh, what do you think? Do you have any questions you'd like to ask Emily? I mean I've asked Emily asked a lot of questions because Again, I fully admit, I don't have a strong background in, in art, but I am always a student. I always love learning about what it's like for artists to, to paint, what goes into their creativity. So if you have any questions, please ask down below. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube for more. You can also find us on all social media platforms at Colorspace AU. If you'd like to see Emily's artworks displayed where you work, please message us on www.colorspace.gallery. See you soon.